Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Let me get my little prop together here. I remember what are how you to... doing? Oh, that's not how I take it, it off. It was already there. It was already ready to yeah, take ready. it off? Yeah, take it off now. Just twist it. Oh. <laughs> okay, messing around with it. All right. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Babyface P. In the in the outdoors, <laughs> in the cold. I don't know how you say it. Yeah, it's out a little chilly. It's a little chilly out here. So we wanted to do a video to talk to you guys about Shot Show 2019. This is our tradition. This is our yearly tradition. I think so. Yeah. I think this is year three that we've done this. Yeah. So. We I think last year we did it on the uh, podcast, which is on Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. So I'm gonna do a video that I could put up on Hank Strange, the main channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like a media mogul. <laughs> Plus there's Stranger Palooza, and there's Babyface P channel <laughs> oh god yeah i gotta put content up on <laughs> so we're gonna talk about shot show 2019 um i'm going you're not going no not this year you need to go I was, man i was year. really hoping but things didn't yeah. pan out <laughs> yeah send baby face p to the shot show i i will go oh I, i'm eventually gonna go yeah it's just you actually might be going next year because i don't think lola is going to be going next year yeah, i might be able so, to if yeah, i'm still you could do it it just this year has been crazy yeah 2018 into 2019 has been yes. nuts. So. Yeah. So um, we want to talk to folks out there about what, we th what we're going to be interested in there. Oh, but man. we really want to find out what you guys are going to be interested in. Yeah. I, I guess for you guys, leave, leave comments and tell him what booths to go to mm -hmm. and what to go see. Yeah. Um, because shot is massive and there's so much to see that you got to try to focus on some things. Right. So comment down. Yeah. What to go look at. Yeah, that's the first thing I would say. In this video, leave your comments of what you're really excited to see. We'll talk about a couple of things. But the way I do SHOT Show, um, when I go there, I'm really going for myself and the people out there that support us. They're, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. For the guys that can't go like me, yeah. go find the things that right. we want to see. Yes, and there's so. people that support us on Patreon, and they send us money, and um, that's... The money goes to a lot of different things. I think SHOT Show is one of those things that people want to see. So while I'm out there, if you want to tell me about something, there's all my social media, Hank Strange, you can find it. You can also just, uh, you can communicate with me directly, actually. Yeah, your number? Yeah, I'll give out my number right now. I can't remember it <laughs> for the life of me, but I will throw it up here. It's 1-352-251-0048. I don't know if you guys can see. Look, bam. Yeah. I'll you roll it in. Send him a text like if you yeah. see something cool, and he will hopefully go to the booth and find it. Yeah. If the way I do it is, if a lot of people are really demanding something, I go there mm -hmm. and uh, check that thing out for the people, even yeah. if I'm like, uh, I don't want to see that thing. Yeah. So, and that happens sometimes. That's how we went to the full conceal booth and yeah, found the and, folding and lock. I guess people got you to go do that, and now you yeah. are the full conceal guy. Uh, not really. There's other people out there doing stuff, but the video we did at SHOT Show has about 270,000 views. Yeah, it's pretty so, good. Yeah, that's not bad. So there's things like that. If you want me to specifically go see things, tell me. Babyface does it too, and so do other people. Yeah, I'll text. Me. During SHOT, I'll see something come up that's cool, and I'll text him and say, yeah. hey, go to the booth and do a quick yeah. video. He so. will literally harass me. <laughs> yeah, to go find something that I'm interested in. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll get you a picture. Yeah, there you go. So we can actually see what it looks like in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> So um, what do you what do you want to see from the show, man? So Anything? the the um, we talked about this on the the podcast the other night. The mm -hmm. revolver, the two shoot two shot revolver. Okay, from that's standard. from standard manufacturer. I, I want to see that. Fire, I think. Yeah. S three 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 or something. Yep. Like I want to that. see okay. that. Okay. I'd like to see just for poops and giggles. I want to see the uh, the Mossberg pistol, the okay. Glock forty three Mossberg. Yeah, it uses Glock 43 magazines, yeah, I guess. So yeah, so it's their version of the right. 43. Yeah, it's gonna. I guess it's going to be more affordable and probably has a different um Maybe different angle. angle. Yeah, just yeah. Grip angle. see how it feels in the hand. Because uh, right. you okay. carry a 43 every day. Yes, I so do on me right now. So that's your gun. Yes. So see how the Mossberg yeah. feels compared. Yeah. The P365 was big last year yeah. at the show. Uh, I'm and happy you with carry mine. that now. I'm still happy with it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Um, and the, the third big thing that... I want to see is you need to go check out the Colt King Cobra. That's that new. It's the yes. new 357 mag okay. that Colt's bringing out. So you're a revolver guy now? No, not just for Colts. I'm a okay. I'm a sucker for Colts for okay. snake guns. Okay. Um, and I want to see them. I want to. 
push Colt into bringing out more revolvers because okay. the revolvers were fantastic. So that's going to be a 357? 357, okay. three inch barrel. Okay. It's a pretty neat little thing. So you, that's something you would consider buying? I would actually, running. like, I okay. would actually think about buying one. I'm, okay. They say MSRP is $899, so street will probably be what, like $750? Okay. Maybe? Yeah. Which isn't if bad. They're, for if a, they're available and there's like a big massive garbage truck going by yeah. right now, so forgive us for that. Um, you know. But that's not if, right. if Street 750 for a nice three stainless 357, mm -hmm. I would consider it. Yeah. Yeah. And you have a I got a python. a python. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm a Colt, I got a python. I'm a Colt yeah, I'm revolver fanboy. Right I'm not gonna show you my python. So those are my no. three biggies. <laughs> As things come up, I'll probably. So text no him. rifles that you're interested in. You just I'm said I noticed you just out. said pistols, handguns. I'm rifled out. I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing that I'm. Yeah. There's nothing that tickles my fancy. At the I think moment. from what I see, if we want to talk patterns, I see that this year a lot of companies have gotten away, thankfully, from everyone making an AR-15. <laughs> yeah, God, everybody, <laughs> everybody has their so, AR-15. Some people have even given up on making AR-15s. Market's too saturated. So yeah, but I, I know weren't we looking at a bolt action, um, six five Creedmoor? I think in a three oh eight from Daniel Defense, that kind of I, stuff. I would there. see it. I would more be curious about the price. Because I have a feeling it's going to be very expensive. Yeah. Um, and how that would compete with something like a Savage or... I mean, yeah. I guess it would be on par with like a Remington 700. So, yeah. price comparatively. Yeah. Um, how important is price, do you think, to people? Because I know people complain like, oh, that thing's really I expensive. Think I think right now, mm -hmm. it's most important to people. Really? Personally. Okay. Um, I think there are guys out there that will buy something quality no matter the price. Mm-hmm. Like what is this your my, my crank that I have uh -huh. way too much money into. Right, right. And um, you keep modifying. And I keep adding more looks money. looks good now, but it's completely changed. <laughs> I, keep, I keep adding more and more dollars to right. this thing. Yeah. So there are people out there that will do that, but there are yeah. also people that will buy an M&P 15 and that's it. Like, yeah. 450 bucks is the most they're going to spend on a, on a well, rifle. That's what so. I'm trying to find out from people because I think there are some high-end expensive things that people are kind of curious about. Yeah. Some are so expensive they don't really want to know. No. Um, and then I think there's probably a mid area that most people are in, and then their people are interested in the cheap things. I think like you got a you got a cheap Glock uh, twenty one. It's perfect. You know, it's it's uh, absolutely perfect. Yeah, uh, but you have an expensive suppressor on there. Yeah, so, so you gotta have one. Yeah. It's necessary. <laughs> but this was a this was what a police gun. Police that was trade in. It was three hundred and twenty okay. bucks. Three twenty. Three twenty for a Gen okay. four. Yeah, with a little bit of wear. So deals. So for that reason, so Shot Show has like the main, the ground floor, which they call the basement, mm -hmm. and the second floor, all the highfalutin people are upstairs. Like right. Walter's upstairs. That's highfalutin. Yeah, he's one of the highfalutin Oof. dudes now. Um, he's in for me, <laughs> Safety for, Harbor Firearms. I can't remember the booth number. For me, I can I can spend without feeling too bad between mm -hmm. five and fifteen hundred. That's my okay. price range. Where okay. if I go over fifteen, I'm like, ooh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Okay. Depending on what it is. Yes. Um, but so my sweet spot is like seven to twelve, seven hundred to twelve hundred bucks. Anything in that range, I'm like, okay. yeah, I don't. So feel what's too bad. the area that you would do impulse buy? Like, oh, this thing is really cool, but it's such and such amount of money. I'll three hundred and twenty bucks. So impulse three hundred. That okay. was an impulse, one hundred percent. Okay. Um, okay. Three twenty. So like buy. the volley fire, I guess. Falls if it was in. It's, under, it's going to be around that price. If it's under that price, that's an impulse buy. Yeah. I would go to the shop, pick it okay. up, and be like. Yeah, I'll take that home. Yeah, I think it's interesting. <laughs> I like the caliber. Um, in previous years, when they were showing prototypes, they were doing they a were 22 long rifle. No, they were talking about 25 something. Oh, 25 ACP or uh, something like that that they were talking about, which I don't think is as common. Maybe it is in Connecticut where they are, but for us, for me, 22, 22 Magnum mag is good. Is yeah. what they're doing 22 now. 22 Magnum is good for that. So we'll it's see. a prolific yeah. little round. Yeah. I don't know how it's sexy all the ammo stuff is. Like my friends at Fort Scott Munitions have the 450 Bushmaster. We're working Ooh, on a project. Look at for that. This. Check that out, guys. That's awesome. I was saying what we should we're do. We're gonna build. We're gonna build a gun we for should, this. We should build a crank. But no, yeah. that's not gonna happen. Um, we uh, are working on the project. Yeah. For that. If you want to see a crank from Babyface P that you, uses 450. You better Bushmaster. donate some money for me to build it because yeah. I can't afford that. But we do have a 450. <laughs> what's up, Buckshots? Right here. We do have a 450 Bushmaster coming. Um, some of the stuff is actually coming from Franklin Armory. Cool. Yeah, I got some stuff from Franklin Armory and nice. other places, and we're going to build a little AR pistol. It's going to be 450. neat. 450. Yeah. It's going to be a neat little... It's going to be awesome. You can call it a hog thumper yeah. or something, What kind I of guess. suppressor do we need for that? Who does a 450 suppressor? You can get the Silencer Co. Hybrid. That does a 450, I that think. That will? Oh, okay. Um, I think it's a, a Liberty. They okay. make 
I believe their 45 version of the Mystic, and I don't remember what it's called. Okay. Um, but they make a 45 ACP version of the Liberty Mystic. Um, I believe that can support okay. a 450 Bushmaster. Okay. So, and I know you're friendly with Liberty. You should go, yeah. go by their booth and say, the hey, yeah. we got a 450. What can we shoot yeah. out of it? Liberty Liberty's cool with us. KG uh, Made is cool as well. They've been on the show. I don't know a lot about their KG cans. Yeah. They're doing some good stuff. Um, but no, yeah. I like I, Liberty's. Yeah. So what do you think fantastic. about suppressor-wise at the show? Do you? Th I think integral barrels are going to be back. I, I don't think... I don't think suppressor technology has really moved too far. And okay. for me, the direction that suppressor tech is going is I'm not really a big fan of. Okay. The super modular suppressors is not my thing. Okay. Um, so there are suppressors coming out where the mm -hmm. entire baffle stack is exposed. There's no exterior tube. Yeah. Like is on it this. Q that's doing that? Q does it, and okay. then some other people have copied it. Right. Um, I'm not a fan. I think they're ugly, and okay. I want my suppressors to be like super sexy. Okay. So I'm. I, but is that a thing you look at at shot show? Is that something like a shot show just about the handguns and the rifles to you? Yeah, no, no. Is I it would about love accessories to see, or see, suppressors. Honestly, this year I think accessories. If I were going, mm -hmm. I would focus on accessories. Try to find okay. interesting things to fit. Like, I got an old set of body armor upstairs mm -hmm. where the Velcro's wearing out. Okay. There are some companies that make pretty cool little add-ons where you can avoid the Velcro altogether. Oh, okay. So there's there, things like that is what I would try to go find. Okay. Uh, yeah. Interesting things that solve problems that maybe not everybody cares about, but it's interesting to me. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for. That's why I was going to tell you that I like to troll down in the uh, basement, what they call the basement, for and the look at the companies stuff. that can't really afford to be up on the ground, you know, yeah. up on the on the uh, first floor and stuff like that, but they have cool things that are coming they up. They may make one or two things, but they, and they're kind of niche, but they're yeah. really cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm into that yeah. sort of stuff this year. I like I looking for that, and I think people appreciate that out yep. there. Um, I do see patterns in things. I think this year I'm seeing a, a pistol pattern everyone's trying to make a uh, single stack or slim nine millimeter there like concealed carry and everyday carry yeah, yeah everyone is trying to get into I mean, that the, business the, What's he's up? coming for you don't even do the it the glock 43 it. set a, a standard for like concealed mm -hmm. carry pistols and okay. everybody's going after that market yeah now. yeah so i'm okay. not not interested in the new glock okay so don't don't even do a video don't waste your time you're not no, interested you, you in have any to. of the glue Glock, gonna, the new Glocks. Like the Glock 48 to. looks cool to me. I think the 48 is going to yeah. be neat. The I 43X, like I think, is doesn't even make sense. No. It's misplaced in the naming because it doesn't use the same magazine. Yeah, I think the 48 so. is... Thanks, Buck. I think the 48... You're a big baby. He is. Yeah. Um, I think the 48 yeah. is going to be interesting, so yeah. I would like uh, to see that this one. Is, this is kind of disgusting. He's a liquor. What's Aren't you a liquor? Right now. Yeah. This is the difference between... You don't like it? I like dogs. I don't like anybody all up in my face. Buckshot is like, yeah, I know. You know uh, I so, so <laughs> anyways. So, yeah, okay. So, but I think that that is the thing. Everyone's trying. Okay, first of all, Glock made, sold a lot of Glock 43s. Yeah. It's yeah. a fantastic gun. Um, and then I think SIG came along. They kind of had hit a stumbling block with some problems that the, P the P365 had. But you've had none of those. I right? haven't had any. So. And the funny thing is, mm -hmm. I think the vocal minority that had issues... Mm -hmm really sullied the SIG brand in general. Okay. Because it was, from what I've read, it's only been 0.08% have been returned. Okay. Which is nothing. Okay. But, you know, you, you something like that can easily yeah. wreck the market, wreck your, wreck your product. And I think, look, I think people have to give a little bit of leeway when someone put out a new gun. I'm not saying that you should spend a lot of time testing and developing these guns, and then the manufacturer of them could should be as well as they can make it. Yeah. But this happens sometimes. You have... You know, some things happen and you have to tweak it. I think probably right now they're in a sweet spot and they're probably putting those yeah, out. Yeah, they're, they're coming they're, out and they're working well. Yeah. Um, so I've so. been happy. Maybe if, if anybody has accessories for the 365 or mm -hmm. the, the 43 that are interesting, mm -hmm. I, would, I would look at that. Yeah. Um, nobody has a good, I don't think anybody has a good flashlight for the front of it. Because okay. my, my 43, I used to have a flashlight on the end. Okay. Um, I don't think anybody carries one out. I think SIG was planning on making one, but I don't know if it ever came out. Okay, and then, so... Okay. But yeah, this might be, to me, this might be the year of accessories. Probably. A I backpacks, think so. I think we're going to see a lot of good accessories socks, and things like that. Anything. Like, that. that yeah. is I the did cool socks stuff. last year. I know, yeah, I know. Okay. That's why I said Which that. I'm rocking. I don't know if you guys can you see still? that right now. Yeah, look, look, check it out right there. Point six. I think um, there's a name of it, right? Is that the name? Yeah, I think it's like .6. Yeah, um, they're yeah, good I, socks. I think this I is. I change year, all my socks. I think this is a year of accessories for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gunned out. I'm gunned out. I got. Yeah. I have plenty of rifles. I got plenty of pistols. There's no. There's nothing that I'm like. I guess I. I have my bases covered, so I want the weird stuff. 
Yeah. I want the 22 double shot revolver. I think I lots want... of people out there have lots of guns now. There's never yeah. enough guns. I'm not yeah. saying enough guns. I think we don't have enough guns. So now we want to see different guns. I want to see weird things. And we want to see accessories for yes. the guns that we do have. Yep. And stop trying to like sell us every AR that's in existence. Because pretty much we could build the ARs that we yeah, want. Yeah, the now. AR market is, right is I think the, the for building different kinds of ARs, like people doing different caliber um, AR rifles and mm -hmm. stuff like that, that's good. I'd like to see those... those uh, AR pattern, uh, like pistol caliber carbines and stuff like that, get lighter. Yeah, yeah. I would Go like to see some, some of that stuff. happening. Um, but uh, a big thing, and and just to wrap up before we get out of here, because I know you got to get back to work. But um, I'd like to see companies talking about the politics, man. Because I think a lot of the companies have been avoiding it, and they kind of had like that Hillary plan of selling everything, and we don't have that. You know, obviously we've got like Trump in the White House, but people and folks out there have gotten to me complacent because they think that we're not going to get gun control, but we are it's, getting it's it. It's already happening. We got some stuff to talk about soon. Yeah. A yeah. new bill just went through. Uh, the I saw on Facebook today the really uh, Feinstein just put out their oh. assault weapons ban of 2019. Already. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and Pelosi, uh, and they, Pelosi yeah, and in Schumer. Congress, they put up stuff. So, so it, it, I, I would like to see them get a little more politically yeah. active. Yeah, I would like to see the companies realize that this is your future that's on the line here. It might be gone and we if can't you're not just, careful. Yeah, we can't yeah. fight this on our own no. as the people. You know, and I think it's time for us to start calling on our politicians and manufacturers mm -hmm. to get on board. I know they want to be safe and they want to sit on the sidelines, but you're going to do that and then businesses are going to go down the drain. Yeah. And I think that the consumer side, those of us out there on the consumer side, we're going to start taking that as a signal that you don't really care. Yeah, I I can see that. So, yeah, I, I would yeah. like to see. I'd like to see it. Yeah. Um, maybe uh, when you get there, just every time you go to a booth, ask, hey, how are, how are you fighting gun control right now? Yeah. <laughs> every booth you go to. <laughs> See how they like that. Yeah. They're the gonna, ATF they're gonna kick booth you out. is there, by the way. Are they really? Yeah, the ATF is oh, there. God. And I've gone to the booth. They don't want to talk to you. Re what is the point of them being no, there? No, I went there and they were so super paranoid. I was trying to ask them something. They're, What's the know, point of them being there? They don't want to talk on camera. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah. So they were like coming around, writing down my name and doing all kinds of <laughs> things. You're on a list. Yeah. You're on a so, list. We're all on lists. But they will be there. I think we do need to talk about politics as the future of this. And if we don't do it, no one's going to do it. And then we'll just find ourselves that we don't actually have access to these rights. Second yep. Amendment, like you think, yes, it's true. You're born with it, but you're going to have to fight to maintain it. Yes, 100%. <laughs> so awesome. Thanks a lot, man. Let Hit me up. Let me we know will, what you're interested in. We will while I'm see out what there. comes out. Yes, absolutely. And you guys hit us up as well. Make sure you follow Babyface on uh, on his YouTube channel as well as your Instagram. Baby underscore face thing. P. That's where I... You, yeah. you get lots of pictures of this guy and yeah. some guns. So yeah, that's pretty much absolutely. It. And then make sure you subscribe here to the Hank Strange channel. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. You know, we're growing out. The, the channel It's growing. It is. No, we've... Kicking since up. I yeah. started, we've increased... Almost double, I think, since I really? came on board. Okay, yeah. I was in like 35 to 40. Yeah. You know, almost at yeah. 80. Yeah. Just imagine if you got those boobs that I've been telling you you need to get. And the, tased the in the back by, by <laughs> what's his name? You probably don't know what we're talking about. You have to look at the podcast. All right, we're out. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>